Hi there, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars. Happy Cinco de Mayo on Thursday. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. Here's my little angel. We love you. Ale, ale. This week, the sun is in the sun of Taurus, so happy birthday to you. So much stuff happening with you, Taurus. Oh my God, but it's all good. The moon will also visit the signs of Pisces, Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. It's Orthodox Easter on Sunday, Cinco de Mayo on Thursday. We love you, Latinos. Friday, we have a new supermoon in the sign of Taurus. And don't forget the following Sunday, Mother's Day. Even with Mercury retrograding right now in the sign of Taurus and all those planets in Taurus, the, with the beautiful help of the loving Venus, it gives us protection and somehow we are able to expect a sunny season no matter what. Tuesday the sun will make an aspect to lucky Jupiter and somehow it will give us also a feeling of hope and another tag of good fortune with Pluto on Saturday also with Jupiter. Pretty cool, bringing us hope. Definitely hope for better days to come. You will see the US political scene also mellowing down somewhat, more and more truth, crazier, crazier, but more and more in the truth. And my predictions of the light that is starting to swallow up the shadows is happening now. Hillary Clinton will be the first woman president of the US. End of story. And Trumpsy, Trumpsy, Cruzy, Cruzy, mm, all that hot balloon will just, just go out in the air. And we will remember this as a very funny uh, nightmare indeed. Well, anyways, we have a third super moon in Taurus. And it will make us a beautiful, fabulous trine with Lucky Jupiter that give us like an inner energy. And it's a very good time because of this super new moon in Taurus to really launch new projects, to take care of our love life, our health, to look the best we can do, and to really clean up everything and move forward in the light. Get out of the shadow, get out of addictions, get out of a uh, weight problem, addiction problem bad relation problem, just walk out of it and go into the light. It's calling you. Because this end of the year 2016, monkey vibration nine, it means happy endings for the brave. And also, it's a great time this week because of all that beautiful connection with Jupiter, Venus, and Pluto to really quick start new ventures, to push on new ideas to sell your talents. Even with Mercury retrograde, there's a magical undercurrent that sort of work wonders for the people who dare and who are taking risks and are pushing their fabulous dreams. Okay, so have fun with this. I was at Thank you, Mayo. You all have to party. Let me start with you, Taurus. Happy birthday to you. The super moon and Mercury retrograde and Venus in your sign bring enlightenment and good fortune. You are sitting in the driver's seat and attracting new opportunities in many areas of your life. You have the power to move mountains and have all the tools you need to succeed big time. Working hard is good, but remember to make sure to take care of number one. On the weekend, do something fun for you. Your magical color, lilac lucky numbers, five and 23. Gemini's, the super new moon in your spiritual sector make you smart, intuitive, and inventive. The focus is on justice and harmony, more flow in your life. Some people may try to intimidate you, but you handle it like a pro, quite nicely. Be proud of yourself. In career, working behind the scenes bring better results. A recent proposal you made that could be accepted. Keep your cards close to your chest in all your negotiations and on the weekend, a loved one may need special attention. A Cancer, a Leo also show they care. Your magical color, blue, lucky number six and 36. Cancer is the super new moon in your social sector. Bring new opportunities for realizations of your wishes and dreams. Remember the moon is your master. You are a child moon. You're a moon child. And that's very important when you have a, a full moon or a new moon, it gives you that extra 
enlightenment. You're very popular this week, more grounded and actually quite daring. Getting involved in group activities is rewarding. Whatever you want, just tell the universe it's listening. On the weekend, your charm, charisma absolutely attracts a lot of attention. You will turn heads, so enjoy all the attention. And your magical color is pink, lucky numbers, three and nine. Leo, the new moon in your career sector, brings breakthroughs in career. Unbelievable but true, just out of the blue. The focus is on your appearance, your confidence, your self-awareness, and what you want to become. You attract promotion for your talents and ideas. What appeared out of reach could suddenly appear in your life just like that. Wow! You have also success with the public, but do continue to be humble, generous. On the weekend, your mind and heart are in perfect sync and it feels royal. Your magical color orange, lucky numbers 8 and 35. Virgo, the new moon in your karmic house makes you confident, adventurous. Things are changing in a new direction. Decisions you made last week is working in your favor. So welcome change in your life. You need to do things differently now. Well, get cracking and do something about it this week, right? Plan a trip, enroll in a seminar, make, I mean, get back to do some kind of studies, uh, get involved in a business, any kind of new partnership or reaching out to other people to make a different way of making a living is all good this week. Foreign countries and also people from other countries definitely are part of this scenario. Enjoy. On the weekend, friendship brings a lot of happiness. Your magical color is turquoise. Your lucky numbers are 9 and 18. Libra. The super new moon in your shared resources sector gives you a big boost of energy and luck. At work and in personal life, you know what you want and you get it. Well, you always do anyways, right? Shared resources, group activities, and friendship are favored. You are very charming, very good looking, and somehow it's a good time to promote yourself and talents. On the weekend, focus on your dream and wishes. Your magical color pink, lucky like numbers 1 and 11. Play lottery. Scorpio, the super new moon in your relationship sector makes you popular and also quite ambitious. Things are becoming clearer in your life and you love it. You make great, great strides in a special project or something to do with your health. There is a lot of mystery and adventure in the air and you are enjoying it actually. Keep secrets. Finances are doing better and people compliment on your vision, your creativity. And on the weekend, you should count your blessings and get close to people who have been with you, with you in the past. Your magical color, red, lucky like numbers, 2 and 11. Sagittarius, the super new moon in your work sector brings a higher energy, more wisdom, more freedom of action. Some negotiation could start taking place. Maybe you'll have a, a change of course. Do it. Be brave. This is a good time to reflect on your goals and your wishes of how you want to make your life. Your pioneer spirit is definitely admired in career. Visit to the doctor, therapist, dentist, attending seminars, workshops, all favored. This is a time also to break away from your usual routine and do things differently. On the weekend, you should definitely relax and meditate. Your magical color, orange, lucky numbers, three and six. Capricorn, the super new moon in your romantic house make you creative, intuitive, and very sentimental. You feel things in the gut lately. In romance, well, you have a lot of questions on your mind, don't you? You do experience some deep need for change and or closeness uh, with a personal relationship, but there's some changes in the air, so follow what the feelings you have in your gut. Play the waiting game in finances and share resources. Let other people show you their cards. Pisces, Cancers bring sunshine into your life and on the weekend, surrender to a romantic proposal. Your magical color, turquoise, like in numbers 4 and 22. Aquarius, the super new moon in your home sector makes you creative, magnetic, and also very kind. You may feel like taking it easy. Well, make sure you take care of business first. Then you take it easy. Also, it's important to finish what you have started before you get involved in something else especially with work, career projects, or investments. 
and try to spend quality time with loved ones. They really need you now. And at night, a special someone will say, I love you. Your magical color, violet, lucky numbers, 5 and 41. Pisces, Pisces, the super new moon in your communication sector bring good news in career. You attract some new ways of doing things and new opportunities. Are you happy where you are right now? Are you looking for a new job, hoping for a promotion? You want to fall in love? Well, make your moves and show up. La luck is with you now. Hope is in the air. A good time also to make some kind of contacts with new people. Your investment wit gives you an edge in some negotiation over your competition. On the weekend, spend time with your loved ones. They need you now and you need them too. Your magical color violet, lucky numbers 6 and 33. Aries, the powerful super new moon in your money sector makes you smart in business and accounting issues. A raise, a promotion or a breakthrough with money is definitely in the stars. Is your job representing your ideals is the question this week. What can you do to make it exactly the way you want in career? Truly satisfying as you deserve. Compare your spending to your earnings this week. Think about all these things. A good time to balance your budget and invest long term as well. On the weekend, tender moments, knock at your door. You have to say yes. Taurus, Cancer and Libra show their care. Your magical color Pisces is orange. Your lucky numbers are 4 and 15. Here's your thought of the week for this very special week. Want to be prosperous? Hmm. Set your goals so big that when you achieve it, it will blow your mind. The only way to go. Enjoy Cinco de Mayo, the Latino energy all over, full of love everywhere. I'm going to party on Thursday. So should you. Happy Cinco de Mayo. And don't forget Mother's Day next week.